Hello and welcome. All right, so this is part number four of chapter number 11, Air and Water. In parts uh, one and two, we covered all the topics related to the water section of this chapter. In part number three, we covered three topics related to air, and these were um, and these were um, the composition of air, the pollutants in air, and the impurities in air. In this tutorial, we will be covering another two short uh, topics about air, and this is the liquefaction of air, and these are the liquefaction of air and obtaining nitrogen and oxygen in large scale. So first is the liquefaction of air. By compression, 100 atmospheres, one atmosphere is equivalent to 101325 Pascal. One atmosphere, ATM for short, is equivalent to 101325 Pascal. Um, of course, you don't need to know that, but uh, it's just to give you an idea of um, um, how large is um, 100 atmospheres, because most of you know uh, Pascal from physics and so and by cooling to negative 100 degrees Celsius, air liquefies. Pretty easy. Two conditions, 100 atmospheres and negative 200 degrees Celsius, and the air liquefies. Voila. Now let's go to how nitrogen or uh, oxygen is extracted on large scale for industrial purposes. By fractional distillation of liquid air. Of course, we have discussed fractional distillation of uh, fractional distillation extensively in chapter number two, if you remember. Uh, distillation is uh, basically vaporization plus condensation. And it is the, uh, this is distillation. Fractional distillation is separating miscible liquids into uh, separate fractions according to their boiling points. Um, if you want to refresh your memory um, on fractional distillation, you can go back to the videos of chapter number two. Okay, so liquid air enters the fractionating tower where fractional distillation takes place at negative 200 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen is obtained at negative 196 degrees Celsius. Argon is obtained at negative 190 degrees Celsius. And oxygen is obtained at negative 183 degrees Celsius. All right, so um, I think we're done with this video. Um, these were two uh, relatively two short uh, topics to cover. Um, as I always say, if you have any question, don't hesitate to post it below in the comments section. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.